Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Guys, I have found one open source cloud based asynchronous coding agent, and its name is OpenSWE, means the open source software engineering agent. And here you see this is their newest product, OpenSWE, and it is made by Langchain Labs. And here you see this is the UI and it is kind of same like the Google Jules or OpenAI Codex but here there is a lot of difference that you will see. So one difference is that they are planning mode. Here you see they have this planner and programmer mode. So this planner mode will plan the things, uh, the update, the prompts that you will give to this model. Here you see I have given this task add dark light mode theme toggle to this uh, website or to this repo then it has done all of the things it has created one virtual environment one cloud based environment and after that here you see that uh, it is viewing all of that files it is getting uh, that css js and all of that things this is the reasoning part and after all of that things are completed it has created one session plan and in that plans it has created one technical notes and here you see what are the plans step one step two step three step four step five and i have not seen this kind of steps this kind of planning in case of openai codex also or in case of google jules also you will not find this kind of detail planning anywhere in jules also i have not found in codex also i have not found okay and also if you talk about this uh, task master or if you uh, talk about that uh, wine serve planning or cursor planning i have not seen this, seen this kind of detail planning with explanation with steps but this open swe which is specifically for the coding uh, task it is a great agent here you see that modify first step one is that modify views or header PUG file to add theme toggle button. After that, step two, create a new JavaScript fly file, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And inside the step two also, you see that they have broken down that things into multiple point. Point one and this point two and this is the point three. And this is amazing, guys. This is step three, step four, step five. And after all of the steps are uh, generated, here you see if you want to add any new plan to this item then you can add that also and after that here it will ask you to reject or continue if you found this plan helpful then just click on this continue and now it will move to the next step to this programmer steps okay now how to do this uh, setup so first of all i have given one link in description box and uh, this is the link is w.langchain.com when you go to this link you will find this kind of interface where is that interface let me show you uh, where is that interface so you will find uh, that it, it will ask you to connect your github account so do that things just uh, give that permission to use your github account and when all of that steps are completed you will find this kind of screen and here just you will find uh, all of that your github repos and here all of your branches and select your repo and after that give whatever task you want to do it and when your typing is completed here you will find one send button just send it but remember one thing this open swe is dependent on the anthropic model so you have to do that setup so on the right hand side you will find this open settings option go there and here you see that uh, this is the current user and here you will find this api keys click on that and here you will find this anthropic and here you have to paste your anthropic api key and if you want to use your google api key then just paste that google studio api key i hope many of you already know how to get that google api key so just go to this aistudio.google.com and there you will find this get api key option so from here create one api key okay so click on it and it will ask you to create one api key 
so i have pasted my own api key here where is that page where is that page okay this one and so this anthropic and google api key is configured how to get that anthropic api key so go to this console.anthropic.com and here create one api key and uh, remember one thing that to use this anthropic api key you need to uh, set up the billing so on the left hand side you will find this billing and here add some balance like uh, five dollar is the minimum balance that you can add and uh, here the advantage that you will get that it is a pay as you go model okay so this open sw is the pay as you give as you go model so that means that uh, uh, if you need that work then only you pay okay so if i show you that uh, how much cost it uh, took how do you see for this 44000 token it cost only 0 0.05 dollar okay and uh, when your work is completed then it will not cost you okay but otherwise if you use that cloud models uh, separately then in that case you have to pay that 20 dollar for the pro plan and that uh, max plan is 200 dollar but here you see that uh, by using this uh, this planner this uh, planner mode and programmer mode you will get the advantage of that uh, cloud models and also you will get the best output and another thing is that as it is an open source so many people can contribute here and in the upcoming months and upcoming years it will be a great coding agent and this is an asynchronous coding agent that means here you can give any number of um, or you can create any number of threads here you see that this is one thread paused and this is another thread and this is another thread so i have created three threads and uh, you can create any number of threads you want means you you can actually add feature to multiple uh, repositories also it is also possible okay and another interesting thing is that here you see specialized agent workflows open sw is orchestrated as a sequence of specialized agents a manager handles user request so if i show you the diagram that they have actually given in their blog then you will understand here you see this is the diagram this is the github issues and this is a manager and there is a planner and there is a programmer so as i have already shown you that uh, what is that planner programmer yes this is the planner this is the programmer and uh, where is that block yes github and manager so manager will response and route that it should go to the planner first okay and it will generate action take action and after that it will generate that plan and that plan will be used and that plan will go to the programmer section and in that programmer section there is a generate action take action loop which will generate that code and there is also extra things which is a reviewer here you see reviewer will analyze the changes and if there is any, any changes or any error is there it will uh, remove that error and it will generate that final review for the for the pull request so it will open that pull request automatically and here you see if task not complete loop the action and review the flow means until the task is not getting completed until uh, you are not getting the error free code error free working code it will run that loops okay so it is very much helpful and this is the agent architecture here you see how it works and another thing is that uh, why open sw you will ask me this question also so that's why they have written these things this article this portion of the article that there is many um, coding agent right google jules is there and uh, open ai codex is there and there are many why open sw first of all it is open source coding present a uh, project and second one is that they have integrated some important things two main points 
are more control and div integration so for control here you see open swe has two main features that give you more control over your coding agent while it is running you can interrupt the agent when you want to review work or new it back on track without restarting so if you see here you see that i have paused this model work so you can post you can pause this model work in between and you can review the changes that it has done so you can see that what planning it has done okay it has done this kind of planning this is the proposed planning and uh, so i am happy with this uh, planning now i can continue it okay so in this way you can actually interrupt its work so human in the loop okay if you want to accept it you can accept it if you want to edit or delete you can do that things also next thing is the double texting here you see most coding agents don't support accepting new request or feedback while they are running but here you see that you can add your new feedback also if you want to add the planning then you can add it also but in case of one serve or in case of uh, taskmaster also i have seen that uh, whatever the task that they have generated it is the final one you cannot add or modify that task but here you can modify or you can add task according to your requirement also okay so this is the thing and next one is the deeply integrated open swe integrates directly with your github account and repository so developers already live in github so why make them learn a new product right and uh, a pull request is automatically open and link back to the tracking issue so this is the thing that i wanted to share with you guys and another thing is that you can also trigger run uh, directly from github so simply add a label open sw auto to a github issue and open sw gets to work when it is done it's open a pull request so that means that if you have any issue in your project then just label it as open sw auto and it will detect that automatically and it will solve that issue and it will open pull request for march the code okay so i hope that these are the important things to code pillars that will uh, make the difference this open sw from other coding agent and uh, you got to know many things from this video i hope and uh, if you found this video helpful guys this detailed explanation that i have made for you then just subscribe this channel see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and don't forget to watch the other videos also that i have published for you guys only so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye